we compete with scaffolding and motorized platforms. So we're traditionally historically built buildings and towers and reservoirs and silos and bridges and things like that were all worked on and repaired using scaffolding. Um, a, a few years ago, there was an industrialized abseiling technique developed called rope access. It was developed in, in the UK um, mainly for the oil rig industry because it became too expensive to stop production on a rig and uh, tug the rig into port and then do the work on the rig. So a bunch of climbers got together and developed this industrialized abseiling system called rope access which is now accepted pretty much across the globe. And, and we have a team of about 150 technicians and we do various types of work on all sorts of structures. It's far quicker for us to get started because literally we just need to throw a rope down, um, anchor it to the top and we can start working immediately. Whereas scaffolding you need a huge truck, you need a huge team of guys to put it up and erect it, then it needs to be signed. And, you know, so it's it, only then can you put your workers on it and start working. So generally it takes up to two weeks to scaffold a building where, or even longer, whereas we start working on the same day that we arrive on site. Because it makes us more efficient, we generally find that we're also cheaper than scaffolding. Uh, and then of course the biggest thing is health and safety. You know, we are always attached to our rope system. So there's actually zero chance of anything going wrong. You know, we do have a completely independent backup system. So each technician is permanently anchored to two independent systems. One is his working system and the other one is purely a backup system. The Carlton Center is the tallest concrete structure in Africa. And um, we were called in by Transnet who owns the building to conduct a survey in conjunction with, with, an, with a structural engineering firm to determine the extent of uh, concrete spalling on the top collar of the building. So obviously because of the position of the Carlton Center being in the middle of the Joburg CBD above walkways and pedestrian uh, traffic and so on and vehicular traffic, it was a high risk area because the management of Transnet noticed some severe structural cracks on the concrete and some patches were in danger of falling. So it was treated as an emergency job and a signage company was tasked uh, to remove the signage that was covering some of the concrete. We then came in and surveyed the area to determine the extent of the repairs and to identify all the various things that need to be needed to be repaired. We, we worked in close conjunction with Sika, um, who designed the uh, specification for the materials that were then used to repair the concrete. So what we did in effect is we would abseil down from the top of the building to where these cracks and patches were. We installed a temporary platform, a safety net in effect underneath the area where we then worked and we then removed that defective spool in concrete, exposing the reinforcing, uh, removing the corrosion from the surface of the reinforcing and then treated the reinforcing to not be able to corrode again and then we applied a bonding slurry and the repair mortar which then we finished off flush with the surrounding concrete. And that we did on the entire collar section of the Carlton Center. It's about 2,100 square meters. Um, the job was treated as an emergency and we had a big team on it. So we managed to complete that job in 21 days.